Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm Ustada Amina Blake. I'm a revert of 25 years. And for this series of short clips, I want to talk to you about some matters that are really relevant to reverts right now. And we're going to start off talking about marriage. Now, we know that divorce is rising in all our communities across the board. SubhanAllah, we all now know somebody who is divorced or going through marital problems and are likely to get divorced. It's very unfortunate, subhanAllah. But amongst revert sisters in particular, the divorce rate is massive. It's very, very high. Now, there are many, many different reasons behind this. Um, in fact, ironically, once revert brothers manage to get married, if they manage to get married, their marriages are really successful. But for the sisters, it's a different story. Now, there are a few things that both us as reverts and also brothers who are going to consider marrying and it seems to be like cool a lot of brothers come to me and say oh I want to marry a revert sister and they come and they don't really understand what the issues are that they're going to face um, and the sisters go into marriages very often when they're new Muslims they don't understand what issues they're going to be facing in marriage which they're workable if you can work together of course the first thing to understand is cultural differences. Remember, you are marrying somebody from a completely different culture or background from yourselves very often. Now, we look generally for what we've been brought up with. Sometimes this is subconscious, sometimes this is conscious. So brothers seem to look for um, somebody who's maybe like their mom or like their sister. They're going to cook the same food. They're going to have the same values and morals. Now, here we're not talking about Islamic morals and values, we're talking about cultural morals and values. There can be a difference between the two, and they don't necessarily always clash, of course. So the background of the person that you are considering is very relevant. Now, you need to look at the family, even if that's uh, your revert um, spouse's non-Muslim family and reverts, you need to look at the brother's family, where they're coming from, and you need to think to yourself... Am I able and willing to become part of this? And am I able and willing to accept this culture and that I'm going to have to make some changes to myself? I'm going to have to be adaptable and I'm going to have to be tolerant to the cultural background that they come from. Of course, here, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about the un-Islamic side of the, um, the revert Muslims, uh, non-Muslim family. I'm talking about the cultural side. Um, which will remain. It's, that's not going to change. Um, you are not going to get a revert and turn them into a Pakistani or an Arab or a Somali. It's not going to happen. She will buy into your culture as much as she can, but she will remain what she is, whether that's a, a West Indian or a, a Chinese sister or a, an English sister, however. So, very important to remember, you cannot force somebody to change their culture and it's wrong to do so. If you're not happy with the culture that your spouse is coming from, whether that's a sister marrying a brother or a brother marrying a sister, then you should not be going ahead with this marriage. Islam is about acceptance and compromise and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran that the two spouses are as garments for one another. If you can't accept to put this garment on, then inshallah you should look for one that you can. So for now, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.